Yeah, we're about 12. All right, today I'm here with my buddy Jaren. We are gonna re-gear his Dana 44. He's gonna put in his TJ. Hopefully it won't go too bad. He's actually got a good elite set of gears and nice coil brand bearings. So it doesn't look too bad. What do you think, Jaren? Pretty happy. Maybe it's better than a Dana 35. Hopefully the track one works, but you know who touched it. So. Yeah, he just barely rebuilt it. Uh, what, just like a few nights ago? Yeah. So, we'll see. As long as it's better than it would have been if he hadn't touched it, we can't really complain too badly. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, when you shim something up and then beat it into submission, you just hold. <laughs> and that's why I had him rebuild the track clock before he came over today. But, well, we're gonna get to re-gear him and see what we can accomplish today. All right, so we got the um, carrier in, we ran a pattern, and we're like, you can see that side to that side, that pinion depth is perfect. It really doesn't get much better than that, does it, Jaren? No, I mean, for me only watching YouTube videos on random stuff and not ever doing this on my own besides just taking stuff out and then just throwing it in and going whatever, <laughs> it's good for me yeah it's a lot better than i could do on my own so yeah no i'm i'm really happy with it it's really we couldn't get that any closer and it's just using the shims that this one had mm -hmm. all right here we are. we're gonna check some backlash oh let's see let's get this okay. yeah we're about 12. I think this one specs six to ten. Let me look. Yeah, six to ten. So we'll have to probably move some of the preload. Yeah, just gotta move some shims around. Because we know the thickness we need overall. So I'll have to pull some out of this side and put in this side just to slide it over a little bit. Doesn't need much. All right, it's done. We uh, took a minute, I had to take a few tries to get the shims on the carrier set up so we got the back glass right. Now it's like between six and seven. Um, and this is going in a Jeep with a manual trance. So we want it in the tight side. Um, right, Jaren? You're sick of your Dana 35 that's probably got 20. Oh yeah, every shift I'm like, is this gonna be the one, the time that uh, explodes? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might only be open, but I can still dump the clutch in there. Yeah. As long as the clutch holds. Yeah. Yeah, and we were checking. Here, spin that axle, Jaren. <laughs> Think I can? Yep, and it, as he spins it, it's spinning this one. So that's a good sign that it's tr everything's good with the track lock, that it's working good. Um, I got the diff cover right there, siliconed up, ready to go on. It's gray, so it probably doesn't show super well on the camera. But it, it is, in fact, siliconed up. Um, put it on here. Jaren's gonna finish bolting the axles up, and he's gotta do a couple odds and ends on the brakes, and it's ready to go in his Jeep. Right? Oh yeah. I'm sure you're excited. 
Yeah. Drive a few miles and go right to clutch dumps. <laughs> All right, so since that axle was just, went so well, we're getting my trailer in. Um, this is one, of course, Jaren's got a pose to show it off, right? This is one my dad's had, he had for over 20 years. It's brought a lot of projects home. Well, my dad decided it was old and he wanted something better, so he bought a new trailer. And I was the sucker that bought this from him. Um, oh, you can see we already kind of got a head start, got that fender off. This header panel used to sit right on the front of the trailer. Um, but we're going to see if we can get this other fender off and all the wood off of it. Just going to sandblast it, going to um, have this one uh, painted, freshen it up quite a bit. It's kind of, it needed some love as you can see. Rewire probably most of the trailer. Um, it's got this old Harbor Freight winch that's worn, out, worn out. Gonna ditch that, I'm probably gonna put a box on the tongue, mount a winch there, do something different for the header panel. I haven't fully decided what I'm gonna do. All I know is today, it's teardown day. All right, it was about uh, four hours of time I got to spend on the trailer today. We got the all the wood taken off. Actually, it was like the easiest thing ever. We just took and uh, right here where you can see all the sawdust, just cut, peeled it all up. The wood was so rotten, that just pretty much came right up. Um, got this fender off, air chisel made real quick work of it. You can see on the old fender where I used it more or less to cut it all out. Between that, the sawzall, cutoff wheel and grinder, it took it all to do it. Um, that side of the fender was already off, but I still got to clean it up. That'll be another day's project. Found a couple spots. Great here, you can see that's pretty well cracked. The other side's cracked the same way on top. Um, probably from all the years of my dad's blazer, the front tires sat right there. It's all those years of the going down the road and all the weight right there, bouncing up and down. It's just what it took and it just broke right there. Um, I'd say for all those years, because it pulled his blazer for probably 20 years, I'd say. Have to spend another, probably a Friday night on it and I'll be able to get it wrapped up, ready to go to the sandblaster, um, got all the wirings out of it, so I gotta get some new lights ordered. Just kinda get a little bit of a game plan together. My two biggest things I'm trying to decide on are the header panel. I didn't like how tall this one was. It was like this tall. It was, I mean, you can see it's dang near four foot. It was kinda ridiculous. So I'm thinking about doing something similar, just shorter, haven't decided. And then on the tongue, thinking about doing a box so I can put a winch in there. Again, haven't decided. So if anyone has any recommendations, feel free to comment. It'll be a little bit before I get to that point. So I appreciate any, any thoughts anyone has. So uh, thanks for watching.